Hello folks and welcome back to more Mass Effect Andromeda. And when last we left off, we ended up starting on some last couple of loyalty missions. And here we are, I think, about to do Jarls. So let's mosey on with that. Providing the game actually gives me the prompt to speak to the shuttle pilot. Oh, no, oh, close. There we go. Afka says you need a ride to the forge. Be quiet, huh? Be better. Not a miracle worker, but I'll do my best. You ready? Let's do this. Let's do this. So we're going to take the rogue academic and Jarl the resistance fighter, I think. Uh, just to mix it up a little bit. I know they haven't got their full powers unlocked, but yeah, no. I, mean, I could probably squeeze in another weapon, but I only ever really seem to use the assault rifle, if I'm honest. I probably should mix it up a little bit, but uh, I'm quite comfortable with my... Oh, I forgot I can actually take... Uh... Actually, let's take some disruptor ammo. And what's the overdrive pack? Boost life support capacity and allows the user to survive hazardous environments longer outside of the Nomad. Has no effect on combat. I mean, we can take Cobra RPG. I'll probably never use it. Jal, you sure you want me here? Bring in an outsider. We'll give the Roka a different perspective. Just follow my lead. We'll get my family back. We'll get him back, just in time for a snack. Enter the clearing. Move carefully. We don't want to alert the Roka. Quiet isn't exactly my thing. It'd be easier if we knew where to find your family. The Moshai brings all of her students to the forge. I know my way around. The Govatan, a welcome center, is up ahead. It's deserted. The Govatan is usually filled with travelers. Afka said no traffic in or out. Doesn't make it less creepy. Where are the Ruka? Oh, Necromorphs got them. Uh, translated from Shalesh, Navoa Sabay, 30 arrivals, t uh, Tef 25, Va 5, Ema 3, Roa 2, no arrivals, no arrivals, no arrivals, no arrivals. Arrivals were steady until a week ago. Most Angara come here at least once in their lives. Either for the tradition, or to share knowledge. Which did you visit for? A bit of both. Come on, let's keep looking for Baranch and the others. Okay. It's got juice, but everything's offline. Should I reestablish comms? Let's leave it for now. Might tip off the Rokar, wherever they are. Okay, right. So, attention, new guests. To Omer Beinstag, Droker Sidier, uh, we have a priority guest arriving early tomorrow morning. I've marked the shuttle number for you. Please notify me the moment it enters our airspace. I'll personally oversee the orientation process. Uh, to Omer Beinstag from Grey Deer Calfrey. Hey, rumor has it someone important is visiting tomorrow. Droker, tell you who it is. The Moshai? Reply. No, she was uncharacteristically vague. Just said to notify her once the shuttle arrived. Do you think it's weird she's bypassing security protocol? Attention. All personnel are to meet in the courtyard immediately. There is no cause for alarm, but attendance is mandatory. Everybody met. The marker was placed. Necromorphs were born. I don't know why I keep doing that. <laughs> Uh. Huh. Did 
did did I do that or did the game do that? Let's put those Why away. is the forge so important? It's one of the few ruins that predates the scourge. We don't have many of those left. It looks like there's somebody in there, but as soon as I move the camera around, they disappear. Wherever the Angara went, they left a lot of supplies behind. Seriously, where'd they get all this stuff? Aya and the Resistance provide support. If the Ket destroyed the forge, it would be a terrible blow. Resin caps. Terminal. Found something. It looks like a journal. Everyone's so enamored with Axel. You'd think he was the most shy. I told Droka to make him leave. But she said that all Angara welcome at the forge. Especially one trying to protect our culture. <laughs> Protection? Is that what he promised? Yes. Not jobs. Uh, confirmed by Grey Deer Calfrey. Lucha and Pace, four vats, medical supplies, one crate, batteries, four containment cells, glass products, lens cylinders, beakers, three crates, malicious equipment, oh, miscellaneous equipment, two crates. Either convince the Rokar to share their supplies and let me do my job to catalogue all this, or tell them to get out of my storage room. The logs have never been such a mess. You'd think they'd be happy to have someone itemise their scut. But they won't let me near a single crate. You invited them here. Do something about this. You already played that audio log. Is it the same audio log? Everyone's so enamoured with that yeah. sword. You'd think he was the most shy. I told Droka to make him leave. But she said that all Angara welcome at the forge. Especially one trying to protect our culture. And people say I'm messy. They left in a hurry. Oh, we're forced out. Let's take all of that. I can't believe it. I'm finally here. The Forge. Curator Droker insisted on a short rest before we visited the site, but I can hardly sit still. Helgar and I have waited years to be selected. We'll finally see the markings in person. Maybe even be the first to translate them. Doesn't hurt to have a good look around these places. Audio log. Let's read these first. They could obtain samples of flora from the forge with minimal difficulty. Draco was worried about uprooting specimens near some of the older pillars. But I was able to satisfy her concerns with some low-risk candidates on the site's fringe. For now, we will focus on care, monitor water intake, and determine an average life expectancy. That will give us a baseline for future experiments. And our latest attempt to recreate the heat shaping process used to build the forge was unsuccessful. We were able to heat the rock samples to their melting points, but they simply turned the magma and turned to magma and became unmanageable. Once the samples cooled, the surface was marred with ripples and lacked the sharp, smooth edges we were striving towards. Axel pulled us out of the lab today. Talked to us about the Milky Way menace. Shaver says he's a radical. But he's always saying what everyone's thinking. The makings of a new recruit. Axel's very persuasive. My brothers and sister are proof of that. Yes. Because, you know, we're, we're out here making things worse, right? Terminal. Okay, let's read the logs first. 
I know we discussed in person, but the best... Oh, this is uh, to Droka, uh, Droka from Talman. I know we discussed in person, but Vestir believes that with just a few resources from the Resistance, he could make the upgrades we desperately need. We can finally determine the exact date the forge was created. Aren't you tired of saying sometime before the Scourge? We've been studying the site for years. We should have this answered by now. Talman, to Talman from Drocker. Like I told you before, I'm not against the upgrades, but we're in the middle of a war. The Resistance already goes out of their way to provide us with food, ammunition, and whatever materials they can find. I can't ask Ephra for more. We just have to make do with what we have. From Drocker to Talman. What about the Rokar, then? Axel was once a scientist in his own right. Maybe he'd help us. Talman to Drocker. I'll reach out. No promises. And don't send another request about this until I've gotten back to you. Audio. One of the Rokar left a slice of fresh Elmuk at my station. I tried to thank him, but he wouldn't say two words to me. I think they've been ordered not to become friendly with us. Lethul, my brother, loves Elmuk. <laughs> it's his favorite. Think he's the one who brought it to her? Mm, maybe. But the rest doesn't sound like him. Lethul is very talkative. Hear that? Axum's voice. Thought you said you got them all. I did. We must have. Alien, kill it. Shit. Hope no one heard that. They shot first. We had to defend ourselves. Uh, inform Axel that the Govatan has been thoroughly searched. All civilians are accounted for. Accounted for? What does that mean? Were they rounding them up? Surrender's not an option with your old car. Take them out! I know it is hard to Help them! Bring their bodies to a door! It's a by nature. But any allowance can be found. We need to power down. They need to hold to coexist. They need to hold to control. How many of them are there? Don't give them an opening! What? I mean, they, they barely even scratched us. to hear himself talk, huh? You have no idea. Oi, one of them. Fly shipped him with the last recruits along with the nutrient paste left by the researchers should keep us stocked for the foreseeable future. That said, we always see a boost in morale after a fresh shipment of Elmok arrives. A little luxury goes a long way with the young ones.
Nutrient paste, parapos, elmok, nutrient paste, nutrient paste, kapana, parapos. Guess we interrupted dinner. Can jump through walls, but not over tables, apparently. made us fear the unknown. Your arrival will bring change to the Angara. Aksul fears that change. This also part of the Govaton? Living quarters for the archaeologists. The Roka have obviously made themselves at home. Okay, we've got another audio log in just a second. I'm sorry, Ongan. I need to delay my visit a little longer. This is uh, too safer from Tefin. A very special person has come to Boson's work. His name is Axel, and he likes, and he is like Dragnar from the stories your brother reads you. A strong and honourable fighter for our people. Boson must listen to this man. Go where he goes. Do what he says. Just like you listen to your mothers, I promise to bring you a gift to make up for my absence. I can't wait to see how tall you've grown, Ongan. Stars light your way. Fair to Dogen. Jeffin says you're, you deserted. That you're living on Kadara. What the scut happened? Our mothers are worried. I'm worried. Get back to me. Dogen to Fair. Should have known Jeff and couldn't keep his mouth shut. Yes, I'm on Kadara. No, I won't be going back to the Resistance. I'm done with this war, Dogen. I've killed enough. You're safe in your lab. You don't understand. The Ket. When that human rescued the Moshai, they found out the Ket were once us. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. All this time, I've been killing our people. I can't go back. I won't. Besides, I kind of like Kadara. It's not nearly as bad as our mothers made it out to be. So don't worry about me, Bosra. Okay, now we've got the audio log. Axel claims we must leave the forge for our own safety. Bregon and a few others resisted. The Roka knocked them out, then forced them onto the ship. I thought Axel was here to protect us. Why must we leave? Explains where the researchers are. Axel sent them away. What's he trying to pull? I don't know, but I don't want my family involved. It's locked. Sam, any suggestions? I detect electrical wiring underground, Pathfinder. You can use the scanner to follow the wires. There we go. There. Door should be unlocked. There's a bridge to the ruins beyond those doors. My family should be there. There goes the bridge. I take it the Roka didn't want us going that way. How are we going to get to them now? We'll have to jump down. The hill. We've got company. Sharpshooters. Damn it! I wanted to look around. Axul must have sent reinforcements. 
Yeah, you could set. are massive. They were shaped from the... It's beautiful. Mm. Wow. Look at these. <laughs> Just wait till we get inside. Oh, boy. Inside? There's a cave ahead. That's where the forge is. Up that ledge. What was this place? Oh, hang on. Starting today, only the most faithful will be allowed inside the forge. New recruits must be vetted by Axel. Before the scar. I can see why this place is so important to the Angara. Do these markings mean something? Some think it is an ancient version of Shilesh, our trade language. But no one's been able to decipher it. Sam, can you make anything of it? The markings appear to share more similarities with remnant glyphs than with Shalash, but they do not match any known syntax in my records, Pathfinder. So, Ancient Ankara created the remnant? The have reached the nest. I count three. Wait! I know those voices. Lathu! Go for backup! Lathu! Wait! Stop! It's Jal. Jal, is that you? sent me all of them did our mother send this human too Jal you didn't tell me your sister was such a badass your people are a joke Tevint please why'd they send you because we've lost enough to the kid they're afraid to lose you to this insane cause. But, Ja, I want you to meet my friend. So you can see that Aksul is wrong. We need to work together against the cat. We're here to stay. I want to get along. Who cares? The Angara don't want anything you have. We don't need you. Ja, our mothers want us to live. Truth it's because I love my mother that I will die for this Aksul cause. is going to blow this place Lathu. up. That's why I sent the researchers away. Stop. He has bombs. Talking. Stolen from your people. Those bombs go off, it'll look like the initiative did it. We have to disarm them. No, 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 no. The bombs in the forge. I'm okay, Jal. I'll be fine. 
You gonna make it? I hate Axul. Don't let him win. You got it. I'm glad you're here. It's to find those bombs. If Axul's willing to blow up the forge, there's nothing he won't do. Ryder, if he shows up... I know. Follow your lead. Okay, things are getting serious. Sister turns on brother. That is uh, fratricide, young lady. The bombs are already set. How long do we have? Give them a couple Jal! Jal! I killed Lathor! I killed him! I'm so sorry! He's not dead. You are lucky. I lost my mind, Jal. I want to go home. But the cause? I joined because of you. I shot our brother. Don't leave Let me. Let her go. I only want soldiers who are committed to our cause. Not weaklings who stand by and watch the destruction of our people at the hands of aliens. You recruit kids and make them fight their family. It's sick, and so are you. I speak for our people, and I say, you're done, you humans. <laughs> Martyr me. Please. I dare you. I don't kill unarmed crazy people. They move onto our planets. They take our resources. Make us weak. I've watched Ryder make planets habitable. Exactly. And they'll never let us forget she it. He rescued our beloved Moshai. I know. Saved her life. I know. Stop defending them. The Moshai trusts Ryder. And stop. We've been fighting the wrong enemy. Maybe the enemy is this traitor. Easy. Jaw? Don't. The Moshai trusts Ryder. You've become a danger to your own people. Walk away. Or I kill you 
and reveal the resistance for the traitors they are! One trigger action I knew I didn't want to pull. He's just killed himself. The alien is not the monster here. I love my people. Come on, let's get you home. You okay? Yeah. Thanks. <clears throat> Building bridges. I'm so sorry, Lafu. I never couldn't even kill me at short range. <laughs> they are here. Let's give them a minute. Thank you for trusting me. Killing Axul would have made the Rokar stronger. He shot you. I'm glad he did. It exposed how far he'd fallen. I've got to admit, you were pretty badass. Hmm. Can't let you be the only show off. <laughs> You've been practicing. A little. We should get back. I want to say goodbye before my family heads home. Oh. Looks like that's John's loyalty. Sealed and secured. Y'all's loyalty. Woo, yeah, boy. Let's uh, fatten out his skill list. He's got 30 points. Oh my god. Uh, let's go Rebel Soldier. More power damage for a short time after taking down an enemy. Deals rough damage after using a power. I mean, I guess we'll go with that. Resilience. When Jarl is hit by an enemy within five minutes, he automatically retaliates with an electric burst that causes bonus damage to shields and primes the target. When badly wounded, Jarl automatically cloaks to protect himself. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Energy drain up and fat and fit. Uh, increased damage, especially against shield enemies and synthetics. And Avengers Strike should be able to power damage, power damage, power damage. God damn. Uh, the other one did uh, offer a trigger. Uh, do struggle with armor more than shields, really. Okay, that's uh, Joel sorted. PB's got 30 points, but can't touch uh, stuff just yet. Six points of my own. Explorer, pioneering hero, 78 points, each invested in combat, tech, and biotics, so put some more points, yeah, I'm at 69, nice, uh, still got a way to go, do shotgun wait, I mean, why not? Radio. Okay, right, well, with that done, um, I think that's it for, hang on, 
Search the med center on I. Investigate the second missing satellite nav point. Investigate space attacks on Nexus ships. Sites investigated one of four. <sighs> so that's on hold. That's on hold. Find the origin of the signal in the Nelesh system. Find leads on the Salarian arc. On hold. Wait for PV scanner to find something. Turn to Nexus Control. Okay, so I think when we return, might um do little things that matter. Find the origin of the single signal on the lash. Um, so we will head back to the ship and uh, we will call it a video there. So thank you very much for watching this install of Mass Effect. When we return, uh, yeah, we'll be moving on to find the origin of the signal because we've still got a bit to wait for um, PB's loyalty mission to get done. So, when we return, we'll be uh, heading that way. Until then, folks, thank you very much for watching this installment of Mass Effect Andromeda. I hope you've enjoyed it thus far. And I'll catch you all again in the next one. Take it easy, folks. Bye-bye. PB's been looking for you.